really good is Newsroom. You maybe seen that? I haven't. It's a it's on the burner for for a watch at some point. Um, hmm. I, I I thought of this. I I hadn't brought it up. Did you see that those drones exploded over the was it the yes. Kremlin? Yeah, yeah. It's like it was. where Putin supposedly where he lives. I guess they're, they're, he, white, they're so. White house. Yeah. I looked into it. He doesn't normally live there. He doesn't stay there very often. Um, mm-hmm. Russia's yeah. calling it an assassination attempt. Nice. Anyone who's looking at it is not an assassination attempt. Um, if there's a chance it's not Ukraine, I think it is. I base that on nothing. But uh, it, it could be a false flag thing. Putin does that. That's how Putin took power. He's a false flagger. But it might have also been Ukraine attacking. And what happened is they took a drone. It came zipping into the Kremlin. Uh, they have a, fl- a Russian flag flying on top of this like dome building. And the UAV blew up right next to the flag. It looked like they were trying to hit the flag. Yeah. They damaged the flag. They did. <laughs> they, that flag is a little torn. They need red. a new flag now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's, who's going to pay for that? Yeah. We, we took a $9,000 drone and we ruined that flag. Well, did you? Yeah. We made it. We aged that flag. Very bad. ROI. Enjoy your sooty flag, <laughs> Ruskies. <laughs> so, it, but it uh, smells now. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Zelensky says that Putin is trying to like get a little more public support by false flagging it. Mm-hmm. Possible. That's not really Occam's it, razor. Possible. But I don't know. Uh, it could also be that Zelensky was just trying to prove a point and and. One thing that happens when you do this is they take their air defenses and they move them off the front lines and they start protecting the Kremlin. So they might have been like, you know what? We're going to bomb the Kremlin if you don't put your 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 SAMs there. Uh, if you keep them up here by the front lines, then you know we make them yeah. spread out their resources. I, I could be convinced either way. Like false flags happen fucking constantly in wars. Like yeah, trying to garner sure. approval, trying to drum yeah. up support for you or against the enemy. Like, I know they've been hitting. Like railroads and 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 fuel uh, points and stuff like that. It's uh, but but it's, yeah, seeing that drone pop over the over the building there was pretty interesting because uh, that's a different kind of attack. That's an attack that you know it's, it's literally on their flag. They were trying to hit or, hit the Russian flag on top of yeah. the Russian Capitol building. It's it's more of a slap in the face than a than a than a true attack. It's the it's, nature of this drone was that it was never taking out this building. I don't think it was even going to put a hole in its roof and it, on its best nah. day. Uh, this was a device suitable for ruining flags. I've made bigger <laughs> so, drone based weaponry. <laughs> I believe you. Right. Yeah. So uh uh, the, so uh, either stunt? they were proving a point or it was a false flag, but it certainly wasn't the assassination attempt that Putin made it out to be, but it's still super interesting. Um, yeah. No, I, I love it that this thing keeps developing. Um, I've tried to give some more thought to the, the poor Russian soldier on the ground since Taylor um, gave us all a, 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 a morality a lesson, lesson. <laughs> morality check. Um, Taylor was I, I really have. I <laughs> saw him the other day. Like, like, I don't like. I don't like that. That one Russian is begging, <laughs> like, please don't blow me up. And they Taylor thinks anyway. Russians are humans, and he's wrong. How foolish I yeah. am to to look at grunts in war and be like, that sucks. I feel bad for that guy. Mm. And, yeah, you he's... know, this is they're going to be playing this during your trial in the future wars. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, You're there's going to be saying, like a, he a had Patriot. sympathy for people having bombs dropped on them who are forced into a conflict that doesn't Absol- benefit them. We're going to have a, an arbiter of patriotism. It's going to be an artificial oh, intelligence, and you will have to pass uh, an examination, and it'll it'll have this. The same way that silly AI can mimic our voices perfectly. <laughs> yeah. It'll have this whole conversation. It'll remember your lack <laughs> of patriotism here. How mm-hmm. democracy wasn't the most. Yeah. Important. They'll send you right worked. to the front and, lines. Oh, it's going to do something much worse uh, to Taylor's you. You're a strong, sturdy coming. boy. It needs you for the minds. I need not the- with that. Not with all that wit, though. We're gonna—it's gonna lobotomize you right there. It's gonna—it's <laughs> that very stupid. When you said they needed him for the mines, I thought he was gonna make them explode, like that kind of mine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> all it's mine. He's gonna t- hes gonna oh, find mine. one landmine. <laughs> hey, if, if I have to work away in the salt mines, I'll salt. just run away. I'm too. I'm too. I'll I'll lose weight and we I'll need, be quick. We need asbestos for the war effort. <laughs> we need asbestos. <laughs> yeah. We need the finest asbestos. Yeah. <laughs> so y- Ukraine's been gaining territory, and it, it's look at that map. I don't even know what to make of this. Right, Russia's been gaining territory a hundred meters at a time. 
And then over the course of the entire winter, they took, I'll make it up, like 80% of Bakhmut, which on one hand is super shitty. They wanted to do way better, way faster than that. On the other hand, they do pretty much have Bakhmut now, most of it. Like, nice. so, so well, the then like been... Ukraine took 100 meters back. And it's like, well, that'll teach them. We've we've turned the tide now, or mm-hmm. it's worthless. I, I don't, don't know. think that this thing is going to be viewed. At, 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 I think looking at it at a hundred meters at a time is silly. Okay, you know, like like I I don't think any of that's meaningful at all as far as the greater war is concerned. It looks like what the Ukrainians needed to do was like was cut off that larger peninsula that the Russians have taken so that they can surround them. Oh, that's the got to be their yeah, yeah. yeah. That's got to be their ultimate goal if anything's going to happen. And then Russia seems like they need to do the opposite of that. They need to push back over that river and try to sweep underneath again because it seems like they wanted to do that. Um, I can't imagine them going for Kiev again. I I don't know anything about the landscape, but it would I would presume that the defenses of Kiev are much are, are much more uh, serious than they were a year ago today. Also, the supply lines are a big problem. If they were to push all the way to Kiev again, then they would be out of artillery. They wouldn't have their good weapons. They would they just they can barely supply where they are now, and it's a much easier task. I can't wait to play the video game about this. Uh, I can't wait to watch the movies the movie. about this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's going to be some mm-hmm. great movies. Um, who's go- who's going to be the star of who's going to be the Ukrainian hero? Who's like Tom or, or, or whatever? Henry Cavill. Cavill. Henry Cavill. That's a no, big fucking no, Ukrainian. no, no. He what? Uh, He's got to stay focused on Warhammer. Like, keep dude, that guy's that practically way. unemployed because he's a big dickwad that no one wants to what? work with. That's what? not accurate at all. It seems like he's a guy who really I enjoys the, the fantasy series that he was involved in and hated that they didn't stay true to the source material. And so he decided to leave and do his own thing. Yeah, everybody loves or, that guy. He only does what he feels like doing. He like they gave him the job of Superman and he wouldn't show up in any of the other films. They wanted him in both the Shazams. He wouldn't do it. They wanted him in more in Black Adam, but he all he did was like one little cameo. And there's more. I can't think of all the shows. Yeah, he was refusing like cameo after cameo. He was refusing to do what Robert Downey Jr. did do. You know, he made Spider-Man. He was refusing to appear in more superhero movies. Yes. Because he plays yes. wow. <laughs> Fuck yes. Love this guy. No, He's I, great. He needs to focus on his his Warhammer universe <laughs> exploration. I'm very excited about that. Yes. Yeah. I want to see what happens. He's, with he's a guy who cares about what he makes and wants it to be good. And uh, I think he's he's all he was complaining about the showrunners and the writers are on The Witcher. And when you read their complaints, they're like, he cares so much about the story. What is his problem? Yeah. He cares about these characters. He wants them to be like the book. My God, what is this? How, how could he be so evil? And mm. it re- I don't know how you could be on it. You are like the only yeah. guy. It's like you and like <laughs> the showrunners of the. Witcher. I have fun. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> it's a, this is my role. 